Hey everybody. Well, we're doing out doing some last minute prep here for the deer season, getting some rye down today, um, prepping some switchgrass spots for frost seeding. So kind of rambling around the farm a little bit here. But uh, I wanted to talk about early season bow setups. So this is this has been our best early season stand. And what I look for in an early season stand is one green food um, or in the vicinity of green food, not necessarily hunting right on the food. And then that first couple weeks of season, well, if you have a good isolated, let's say that your farm, you know, if it's a monoculture of, of white oaks, um, it's not necessarily easy to... Uh, to hunt deer on acorns because they could be anywhere in the oaks but for our farm we have isolated oaks um, and then to top it off we have isolated oaks in bedding in a bedding area here so I look for kind of those isolated oak pockets that also have that security cover and that's what we have here so we have some big oak trees down here that are normally loaded with acorns and then we have nice thick cover down here. There's a lot of different types of shrubs in the forms of uh, got some choke cherry, gray dogwood, um, some uh, juneberry down there, um, lots of woody regen, lots of oak regen, um, some ash, box elder, things like that. But it's just a great, great brushy bottom with these acorns that are raining down into it. So the deer literally are bedded right there. But we can sneak in to the stand. We have an access right through up here um, where we can sneak in kind of in the back door. And I got a sprayed trail coming right up to the stand here and actually get within 50 to 100 yards of where the deer are bedded and um, <clears throat> basically get almost right in their bedding area and hunt them effectively. And we've killed bucks out of the stand early season um, by being able to get this close to the bedding get to where they want to be early season with those acorns raining down and then also I got the strip right here where I just laid down some rye um, it was clover last year but basically what I'm going for is just green food so then it can pull them out to this strip and then the destination food is out that direction so what the deer tend to do is instead of going straight to the destination food they work their way through the cover they get to right there and that's where we get our shot opportunities is right there because they work their way around like this they get to this nice just strip of food that takes them right out to the the destination food so it's a perfect little runway it sets up awesome we've had more chances at big deer off this stand than any other stand and it also ends up being it doubles as a really good rut setup because with that thick woody bottom with lots of stems that's where the does want to be during the rut and the bucks get push them right into there and we can see them chasing down there all day and then we also have bedding off that direction too so it's kind of a pinch right between bedding for during the rut but early season that's when the stand is just absolutely primo so that's what i'm looking for i look at acorns look at green food sources um, look at where they want to be bedding because there's, there's a lot of fruit trees down there too. So like I said, with the, uh, the choke cherries, um, the gray dogwood, things like that, uh, they like to be into that, down in that. But uh, just kind of everything they want early season is here. So it, it ends up being a really good stand setup. So that's just one, one example of a really good early season stand. You all take care. God bless.